Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam. This is Phil, and today we have White Snake on the agenda for you. How many times have we done White Snake? Zippo. Zippo for us, but not after today. This will be our first introduction. We're doing Still of the Night, the first song, and apparently this is when they got commercially really popular, and uh, this is where one of the songs, I should say, that really drove them into the mainstream, and I think it did well on MTV as well. Um, there's, I think, a model or something in this that made it more popular. Tawny, I believe the her name video. was. video? Yeah. Anyways, I'm excited to check out some White Snake. They got a hard rock sound, apparently, so let's get into some hard rock. Let's do it. That must be Tawny. Okay. Let's go. those white snakes up there. Slow it down a little bit before you bring back that energy. back.
was a long time for that pause. <laughs> <laughs> there was so much building going in the yeah. song. I didn't want to interrupt yeah. it. Lots but, going on there. Was he using a bow to play the guitar? Yeah. So I think we've heard that one time before, and that was Jimmy Page with Led mm. Zeppelin had done that. Yeah. Um, but that was really, really cool. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I had to do a double a, take. I was like. Such a unique sound. Yeah. Drama added as well. Yeah. Very intricate composition as a whole. You know, I said it's been building and, you know, we started off with this energy and I thought we were just going to get more into this anthem feel of a hard rock song. And I love the riffs in the beginning. They're yeah. great. Combined with his vocal, it's really cool because this mix of this like hard, heavy riff with his, you know, very pleasant and pleasing vocal adds a really dynamic sound. And um, so we went through that beginning process and then they've kind of mixed it into this melodic blues ballad feel yeah. midway through, right? Which was really, really cool and added this dramatic feel I to like it. There's almost even like a mystery, like a mysterious mm -hmm. kind of sound to it as like, especially when the camera's on the girl, yeah. they're kind of following her around. It's almost like this like air, like this air of mystery kind of. Yeah. It's, know. it's like this dramatic, dramatic feel with this woman, right? That's got uh, so much mystery, like you said about her, mm -hmm. almost that's the kind of the feeling, right? Yeah. Alongside the sex appeal that's clearly pre prevalent <laughs> yes. in this video as well. Yeah. But even the way he's singing, he's kind of adding a little bit of sex appeal to it as well, right? Yeah. And I wonder if that's why it became so popular as a song. You know, yeah. it's it's got this, you know, vibrant and uh, anthem kind of feel to it, but it's also got, like I said, this ballad powerful aspect. Yeah, well, he's also talking about in the still of the night and things that go on in the still of the night. So I think that's also yeah. where this sex appeal comes from exactly, as well. Exactly, yeah. But he's actually portraying that in the music music yeah. with his vocal and, and yeah. the way they've created it as well. Anyways, are you For liking sure. the song? Yeah, I like it. I feel like there's been a lots of kind of like ups and downs. I wasn't really sure like where it was going and it kind of had that break in the middle, which mm -hmm. was interesting. But like I said, I feel like it's a very like mysterious kind of vibe for me. Right. She's like different. Well, let's rewind it a fair amount because I want to get back into a little bit of that build before we drop again. And we'll add some brief closing thoughts towards the end. This is like mysterious. Close to you, taste your love so 
taken away by the sex police. Never seen that before. <laughs> Clearly, it was deserved based on the song. Still at the night. Creeping around, doors way and stuff. Too sexy around here, apparently. Yeah. So, um,. I have a question for you guys, those experts out there of White Snake. So clearly, this had a heavy metal feel to it. Right? Yeah, and certain. You agree? I agree. Yeah, especially in certain areas that I feel like it was a lot heavier than yeah. others. And I would, uh, in light of the heavy metal sound, I would say in particular it sounded thrash metalish. So I'd say yeah, I got that vibe <clears throat> a little bit as well. And now further along that road, I'm wondering if Megadeth was influenced by White Snake. Because the sounds are similar. I, I mean, I, I believe White Snake would have came first before Megadeth did, because this was from 1987 or 1989. One of those two years is where this came. When this came out, right? It was their self-titled uh, album, I believe, in 1987. If I'm correct about that, um, then it would have been, I think, leading up to when Megadeth started to get popular. I believe in the early 90s, right? So, anyways. My point is, seems like there's heavy metal influence there, thrash metal influence, and it reminds me of what we've experienced from Megadeth. I have way more experience with Megadeth than I do with White Snake at this point. So you guys can add any comments in there and, and let us know your thoughts. Yeah, my timeline for all of that is so hazy because I had thought that Megadeth was around the same time as like Iron Maiden and, um, oh my God, why can't I think of their name? Um Metallica? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I... Too many I, different groups. Yeah, I, And that they're, they're like late 80s, no? Yeah, I mean, I think Megadeth came a little bit after okay. Metall Metallica, because they he was in Metallica, got kicked out of Metallica, True. and then started Megadeth, and yeah, then yeah, Megadeth fair. became popular fair. at that point. I forgot um, about it. Yeah, like I, like I said, I think it's just Megadeth started getting popular in the, Early the 90s. 90s onward. True. But I could be wrong about that. Don't shoot me if I am. It's been a while since we've done some Megadeth. Yeah. So, um, All the information starts to blend together. Yeah, and we've done so much music on this channel, guys, yeah. like from so many different eras. Yes. and So many different genres. Uh, yeah. And... So if we you know, forget some of these you know, tidbits, it's just a cue for you to give us a <laughs> reminder. And um, so anyways, I really liked the song, though. I enjoyed it. it yeah, it was, I thought it was cool. It's very interesting entertaining all the way through i like i love the the feel of the song the energy had a great vibe to a great groove at that yeah i thought um, it was cool how they would like bring in like you said more of the ballad feel and then they would just come out of nowhere with this like hard-hitting riff again yeah. yeah and it was like an anthem right yeah yeah so we'll uh we'll wait your insights down below in the comments and uh if you want us to check out any more white snake please let us know yes and um where you want us to go next we always appreciate that so um other than that just well, what do I got to do, Sam? You got to go. give us a thumbs up. You got to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next videos. We drop two every day and we'll see you then. Have a great day, guys.